Today we're looking at Autil's first external solid state drive, which is sleek, high performance and lightweight. On the front of the box, you've got the model number, which is Auto 450, or is that Auto 2450? Hard to say, but it says it's an external SSD. You've got the manufacturer's name on there, as well as the actual physical size of the drive. On the sides and the back of the box, it tells you about the three year warranty. It's also got a QR code to follow them, as well as multilingual information on the back, which basically says for more information, go to their website. Okay, so let's have a look at the packaging and what's inside the box. First of all, obviously, you've got the cardboard carton. You've also got a bit of cardboard inside. That's it for packaging. There is no plastic, so Greta is going to be extremely happy with you guys at Autil. She's not going to be going blah, blah, blah or anything like that. Also inside there, you've got the SSD itself, which is very light. We'll take a closer look at that in a few seconds. You've got the USB type C to USB type A cable, which plugs into the SSD and then into your PC. Or if you would prefer to use a USB type C end to connect into something smaller like a laptop or even a phone, you can put the adapter on the end. So you've got the ability to do both. And there is even a little cable tidy there, which you can attach that to this cable so it keeps them both together if you wish. Okay, so let's have a closer look at the actual SSD and the cable itself. So the SSD is, well, as you can see, there's not much to see. It's sort of got a curved design over the top. It's got the manufacturer's name. Reverse side is basically exactly the same without the manufacturer's name. At the end, you've got the connection, which is sort of more of a glossy color, which you put your USB type C cable in, for example, like that. And then on the other end, it's got your like barcode and all your other bits like that. To give you an idea how heavy this is, this is 40 grams without the cable. That's pretty light. Give you a rough idea, this cable, including the connection, comes in at 19 grams. So it's only double the weight of this little cable here. So it is very lightweight and it's got like a, it feels like a metallic design. You can hear it clanking and so forth. So it seems to be pretty sturdy as well which is pretty good. So it's only 100 millimeters long by 39 by 8.6. So it's quite thin, as you can see there. The actual read speeds on this apparently should go up to 550 megabytes per second. And that's the read. And on the right speed is 500. Uh, it is USB 3.1 type C, or obviously you can use it without the adapter it comes with and it'll be a standard USB type 3.1, obviously type A rather than C. So otherwise it's pretty good to be honest with you. Comes with that three year warranty. It's got a life expectancy of 1.8 million hours uh, or terabytes written, a uh, dependence on the actual size. The 256 gigabyte version is 100. The 512 gigabyte version is 200 terabytes and the one terabyte version is 400. Uh, terabytes so it's got plenty of write options there again external drives don't usually get as many uh, terabytes written as an internal drive but still it's got the ability there to last you quite a while okay so down to testing so we've used atto as well as crystal disk mark to basically get test results done bear in mind i always find crystal disk mark reads a little bit faster than atto atto may be a little bit slower so take an average between the two and you should get a rough accurate actual score so according to the guys at Autil, you should be getting around about 500 megabytes on the read and 500 on the right and that's on another 512 gig version of the external ssd we're testing which is the auto 450 now using atto we got read speeds going all the way up to 535 megabytes per second so that's 35 megabytes faster than quoted on the uh, on the website and just under 500 so 493 on the right speed so that's to be honest margin of error that's pretty good in case anyone wants to know the ios the ios are on here as well going up to 43000 uh, on the right and roughly the same on the read as well now using crystal disk mark we got pretty good results we've got 550 on the read and on the right we've got 522 which is nearly five percent faster than what it states on the website so as you can see there we've got some pretty good results bear in mind you will need a really good computer so obviously if you're 
copy them from a traditional hard drive to an external SSD, the speeds will be slow. If you're using a slow port, again, it will be slow. We're copying from an SSD, which goes up to around about 5,000 megabytes per second. So we've got no bottlenecks. Next, what we're going to do is copy over this folder here, which has got 139 files in it, which has got roughly 30.3 gigabytes total, mixture of pictures, videos, and text documents. So it gives us a rough idea how long it actually takes. So I'm going to copy that now straight over onto the drive. So as you can see there, I'm pasting it and we've got the screen coming up here. And as you can see, real-time copy and speed obviously this varies depends on file type sizes and so forth but as you can see it's copying at roughly 350 megabytes per second again as i said that will go up and down a little okay we've come to the end of the copying well i've paused it at 99 percent, so you can actually see it because obviously this disappears when it's finished copying but as you can see that is fairly constant the actual copy rate and it was roughly between 350 and 380 megabytes per second throughout all the testing, which is very constant. Usually when you're doing a copy and paste a lot of the time um, from one drive to another, it'll go really fast, slow down, up, down, up, down, and so forth, where this was constant pretty much all the way through. So yeah, I can't really complain at the copying speed. Less than two minutes, roughly around probably close to one and a half minutes to copy 30 point three gigabytes of data over so that's pretty good so in conclusion yes very good drives very fast now we do have to mention one thing unfortunately we did get sent a couple of drives out to us to begin with and we did have issues with the, one of the drives um it wouldn't read and write as it should it was going a lot slower than it should roughly only 40 megabytes per second we did contact Autil. They took both of our drives back, tested them at their end, and did find there was issues with the drives. They did actually stop production of their, all their other units just to make sure there wasn't any other issues with any of the other drives, and they didn't find any. They said that potentially it could have just been an issue with um, delivery, you never know, DPD could have just kicked the boxes around, uh, or something along that line. But good to them they actually stopped the production lines double checked everything before they sent any more out and so forth uh they were pretty quick at doing that and they also sent us two replacements which were in sealed boxes to check and both of those replacements worked absolutely fine as they should so uh things happen yeah technology you you do get things happen now and again so again they rectified the issue they sorted it so even though we had that issue i would still highly recommend these drives did you enjoy this video? Well, why not check out other videos we've done about Autil just up here, this box right there. Otherwise, you can check out other SSD reviews we've done just down here. Otherwise, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, like, you know the drill. See you next time.